All right, boys and girls. So today I come across a interesting steel, I'm gonna say. I come across a big cast iron pot and I'm filling it with water right now just to just to make sure it doesn't have any weep holes or anything in it. I just got it. So far, so good. And at the same time that I got this one, I got a stainless steel one. And I'm thoroughly excited about both of those. <clears throat> so, Let me uh, check these out. I'm going to have to season uh, season this cast iron one, stainless steel one. Don't have to do anything to, just wash it. <clears throat> but really excited about this. This is a, a great find and doesn't leak, so I'm really happy about that. I just wanted to make sure. I thought I saw some pitting on the inside of the cast iron one. But looks like everything's going to be good. I don't know. It has some markings on the bottom. I don't. I don't know if it's a 4-0 or or what. I mean that sucker's pretty big. Yeah, that one's nothing to sneeze at. All right. Well, let's check it out. It's too hot. Got a burner going. Dry it out. Shouldn't take too long. You can see the steam coming off. I should heat it up nicely. I'll go ahead and go get the, the oil. How big is this thing? It's a backbreaker. I don't know. I can't read. I think it's a, it says 30 right here. Uh, I'm trying to make out the the. I think that's a three and a zero. It's getting hot already. So it's good. This is going to work out great. Looks better. It'll look really good when I get done. I'm going to season it a couple of times and then we'll be off to the races. And uh, finished product will be awesome. Yeah, I'm thinking big fat deer chili. All right, I turn the I turn the fire off and uh, I take this rag. I've got some cooking oil. And I'm just gonna apply it. Doing the outside first. I'm gonna redo the outside. I just the outside was the easiest to get to. This thing, three hundred and thirty degrees. The main reason why I'm put, putting this on. I just washed it, just heated it up, and I'm trying to keep it from rusting. It is so humid out here. So what does it do when you are oiling it? What does that do for the cast iron? So, so iron, cast iron, 
when it's in its raw form, when it hits oxygen, and especially when you got high humidity moisture, that creates rust. And the oil is used to make a barrier. Well, no. yes, make a barrier, but it also helps uh, I'm not trying to use the word barrier, but Anti-moisture is what it's doing. So I know that's not the right term. It's anti-hydrolytic. I just made that up. Anti-hydrolytic. Cast iron. Two core. We should copyright that. Probably got a pretty good coat on the inside. Let's go ahead and make sure I didn't miss any spots. This thing's just dangerous. Austin's favorite seat. So I got this heating up with a with a burner. And I don't know if you can see the smoke, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this kind of cure out and wait for this whole thing to stop. Now uh, temperature here and the temperature here is about 200 degrees difference so this whole thing has got to be uniform hot and no longer smoking so we'll see
here's a close up. Okay, so I lowered it, I touched it as it was cooling and it was still kind of tacky, not what I'm wanting. <clears throat> so I lowered it back down and I, so I took one layer of bricks off and I'm lowering it back down, I stack bricks around it to retain the heat. And So I just started the uh, fire up underneath there again, and what? If I need to, I'll lower it some more. I I, I need this whole thing to heat up really good. My, ideally, I would like it to get to 400 degrees, uniform all the way around. Um, when I was pulling the bricks out the first time, I could see. I could feel the temperature. These bricks were cool, so I know the wind is slowly blowing this way, coming out that way. And the bricks on the back were a lot hotter. But, I mean, overall, yes, this 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 would work, but it, I, I want it a little bit better than what where it's at. Shouldn't take too much. You see the it's heating up and the, the droplets falling off the trees are sizzling up. It was 267. It's 300 degrees on the top now. It's already risen um, 30 degrees since I've been talking to you. Uh, and I just started that fire now. It was still hot from the previous uh, curing. So the word I was looking for earlier when we were talking about what does the oil do, and when you heat up the iron, it expands. When you add that oil to it, it sucks into those pores. Because if you look this look at this under a microscope, you'll see that it's it's porous, kind of like uh, like volcanic rock. Stuff we used to use in our grills but anyways that oil sucks up into there and as you keep applying it it creates where you where you can't suck any more in and it displaces its placement displaces the moisture um, so I heat it up to evaporate any water moisture that is in the pot before I started applying the oil um, and when I started applying that oil as it uh, it was pretty hot when I when I added it but you could see it it was just like absorbing it and it's not like it's not like a sponge but kind of the same context so I let it cool down after applying the oil and then now I'm heating it back up. So I'm initially caramelizing the oil on it, on it. And I can lay a tortilla up there and cook some tortillas right now. I mean, that, that sucker's hot. Let's see what the temp is since I've been talking this, this going. 344 degrees. She is cranking up. It's a hundred degree difference from the very top or from that point to this point. Yep. The sides by the handles are about the same. Front and back's the same. So we're 
just mm, I'm gonna heat this up I'm gonna let it get good and hot I want this I want this top temperature a little over 400 um, I would like it a little over 400 that and hopefully the rest of it will get at least close to 400 380 it would be okay so if I can get 420 and 380 and that gives me a kind of a balance between the uh, uh, between the two everything should should come out just fine then um, I almost wish I had something to put over the top of this to retain this heat. Some sort of, I mean, it doesn't have to be uh, just a half, a quarter of a metal bucket or, or something, uh, something that won't burn up. Yeah, I can't think I got anything right off the top of my head. I've got that. I could put that on top and uh, use that. Let's try that. So that's my stainless steel kettle. And so that should really, I didn't measure it before I put it up there, but it was all getting up there 322 so it's 92 degrees right where that is uh, stainless where this is meeting with this is that's already heating up and this was 70 something degrees but I can already feel like the heat so I think that will help retain some heat and that's if I can retain that heat and this thing's so big <laughs> that thing's pretty big too so maybe we can get that temperature up enough to where it's not um, maybe this stuff will caramelize a little bit better all right Jason Bryant Riverbanks Outdoor Adventures um, we're seasoning this big cast iron pot, um, and I'm using that pot to retain the heat. Uh, ambient temperature, 78, just using this as a, give or take, 78. Uh, not much of a breeze. But I want to get that thing hot. That, this little burner is as hot as it'll get. And I got the bricks piled in around it, so we should be okay for retaining heat. Now, another thing that I could do is go ahead and come around with. Uh, <clears throat> if I wanted to move it, I've got my big fire ring, which could fit around and retain heat even more. A lot of work and things heavy I just don't think I want to mess with a super heavy thing with all the how hot this is um, no. pretty sure this will be enough all right so I didn't video when I came out here and I turned this off it was still kind of raining and uh, so when I put this on, this thing got to, like, I don't know what it was underneath this, but it was well over 400 degrees. This was like 440, and this was over 400 degrees. Um, and it, yeah, we are cooking with grease. So...
Daddy likes. Okay. What we're gonna, I'm gonna move this stuff real quick. So in the process of seasoning the cast iron pot, I'm also oiling down the top of this, which is fine with me. It's always more gooder. In that proper English. All right. Yeah. So she's back down. She's about 120 degrees. She's not. Cured nicely. Let's see what the inside looks like. Yeah, when I got it, I didn't realize the legs have rusted off to little nubs, so it doesn't sit cool. But for my intents and purposes, is you know, it's not going to fall over. So I'm just what I've got plans for this. But look at the inside of that. That turned out so nice compared to yes, it's still pitted. Um, that's just something that's not going to be helped but i mean to tell you this turned out really good i'm really happy with this the only places it's a little sticky a little tacky there where it was all dripping down I'm not going to bother anything that i've got this is i'm thoroughly happy with this we'll continue the seasoning process but i think that's going to be we are going to make some stuff with this. Deep fat fried. All right. Let me hold the phone the other way. Jason Bryant with uh, Riverbanks Outdoor Adventures. And we just got done seasoning this cast iron pot. And it turned out really good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I don't know. Uh, hopefully y'all can see, but it is. I, I What I did is I sanded this thing down with wire brush and washed it out and then did the seasoning process. It, to me, this is, it's seasoned so good when now we've got a good base to start off of. So we can continue to keep this seasoned uh, with just a little bit of TLC. I mean, it just takes a little. A little goes a long ways with these. It's hard, it's hard, to, hard to tear these up. Anyways, Jason Bryant, Riverbanks Outdoor Adventures. See you on the banks. Okay. Boys and girls, Jason Bryant with Riverbanks Outdoor Adventures. I don't know if y'all remember, but I had a video a while back, Resurrection of the Fish Cooker. And I'm curious if this will fit on top of that. And if so, we may be in business for a big old, let's just try. For me talking. <laughs> Would you look at there? We're in business. All right, so the cast iron one fit perfect, and so does the stainless steel one. So I mean, that's not going anywhere. Uh, I may fill it up with water just to see, just to be sure. So if I'm doing a crawfish boil, 
not too top heavy and it falls over and scalds me or some children or something. Safety first. But look at that. Crawfish boil coming soon. I believe this is gonna be the start of my outdoor kitchen. Pretty sure. That's the way it's looking. <laughs>